Express each of the following as a single power with a positive exponent. To express a radical as a power, recall that x raised to the m over n is equal to the nth root of x to the m or the nth root of x all raised to the m. Note that the index of the radical corresponds to the denominator of the exponent when written as a power. The following exponent laws can then be used to combine the resulting powers to a single power. x to the a times x to the b equals x to the a plus b. x to the a over x to the b equals x to the a minus b. x to the a raised to the b equals x to the a times b. And finally, x to the negative a equals 1 over x to the a. For the first question, we have the cube root of x to the 4. Note how similar this is to the nth root of x to the m. We can then say in this case that the m is equal to 4 and the n is equal to 3. We then have a result for the cube root of x to the 4 as x to the 4 over 3. For the next one, the fourth root of a to the 7 is a to the 7 over 4. Again, note the index of the radical is the denominator of the exponent. The fifth root of a to the 3 is simply a to the 3 over 5. We now have to multiply these powers. To multiply the powers, we have to get a common denominator and add those fractions. That common denominator will be 20. We multiply 7 over 4 times 5 over 5 and 3 over 5 times 4 over 4. This gives a result of a to the 35 over 20 plus 12 over 20. This is equal then to a to the 47 over 20. For the next question, the cube root of m squared can be written as m to the 2 thirds. The square root of m to the 5th can be written as m to the 5 over 2. This time we're dividing powers, so we have to subtract the exponents. m to the 2 thirds minus 5 over 2. Again, we need a common denominator. That denominator will be 6. We can multiply 2 over 3 by 2 over 2. And 5 over 2 times 3 over 3. This gives m to the 4 over 6 minus 15 over 6. We then get m to the negative 11 over 6. Of course, we do not want to have a negative as part of the exponent. So this is 1 over m to the 11 over 6. For the last question, we have t times t to the 11 over 4. Note that the inside radical, the fourth root of t to the 11, is written as t to the 11 over 4. We can then multiply that by t and raise the entire result to the 1 third, which corresponds to the outer radical, which is a cube root. We simply have to change the t to t to the 4 over 4 so that we can then add those exponents. We get t to the 15 over 4 raised to the 1 third. We then have to multiply those exponents. 15 over 4 times 1 third. This gives t to the 15 over 12. Or simplifying that, t to the 5 over 4.